about why we decided to organize this event. Um, this panel is inspired first and foremost by the recent electric rise of the Black Lives Matter movement, which has exploded on the streets in cities across the country from Ferguson to New York to here in Seattle and beyond in response to systematic police terror against black communities and which has forced long overdue national attention on the institutionalized racism endemic in our society on every level. Symbols can be very powerful things to a movement. To us today, the image of Michael Brown with his hands in the air before being murdered by the police has been echoed visually at demonstrations across the country. Likewise, the image of Tommy Smith and John Carlos on the Olympic podium raising the Black Power salute became emblematic of a whole era of resistance. But we also know that as powerful and galvanizing as these images are, they only offer a snapshot of the whole story. In order to build a new civil rights movement today, we need to dig deeper. We need to rediscover a hidden history that has been deliberately whitewashed or swept under the rug. We need to learn lessons it holds for us today. And I have to say, I just finished reading the John Carlos story. I hope everybody walks out here, here tonight and reads it immediately. It's incredible. Um, and I think it really places that fateful day on the podium in the context of both the mass black liberation movement that shook the very foundations of this country and also the incredible life of a man of conviction, compassion, and fearless determination. Then as now, the struggle is never easy and the stakes are high. Many in this room tonight, in recent months, have experienced the sting of tear gas, been assaulted by the police, or arrested for simply exercising our First Amendment right to peacefully protest. And as we learned in his book, Dr. Carlos paid a tremendous price for taking the stand that he did. Yet, as he explains, he never once regretted it. He writes, the people who have regrets are those who could have taken a stand, but chose to remain silent. by athletes and couch potatoes if they were among those who stood up in 1968. It is a lesson for all the young people rising up today. Seize your moment in time. The only true regrets in life are inaction. And in that spirit, we want this to be not just an educational event, but a springboard to action and a contribution to building, deepening, and strengthening a new civil rights movement on the rise today. <coughs> So after the ISO invited Dr. Carlos and Dave Zarin uh, to speak here in Seattle, we reached out to as many different organizations and individuals as possible to come together and put on this event. Um, and as we can all see here today, the gathering of forces is truly inspiring. Um, with that, I want to thank the many sponsoring organizations who made this event possible, most especially our hosts in the Garfield High School Black Student Union. the Seattle International Socialist Organization. <laughs> Outside Agitators 206. <laughs> Women of Color for Systemic Change. <laughs> Social Equality Educators.
Education Association. I also wanted to thank and acknowledge our A.